Hello, fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological month and the energy begins right out of the gate. As we begin the month, we are moving towards a full moon. The full moon will perfect right around the third of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. Now, this full moon is setting up what astrologers call a T-square. This is a larger conversation of tension and motivation. And given that it is Uranus that is anchoring this T-square, well, it does speak to the energy of surprise, of tension, of frustration as well. But feeling as if things are especially unpredictable and coming out of nowhere, that might be part of the picture now. Now this is a part of the sky where this full moon is taking place for you that has to do with profound and meaningful transformation and regeneration. So this is a part of the sky that connects to rebirth, psychological rebirth and otherwise. This could be a time when a whole lot is going on within your psyche. You're realizing things about yourself. You're making connections as well. This part of the sky connects to an alchemical process, if you will. Now, the ancient art and science of alchemy, the uh, philosophical understanding of alchemy, is about turning lead into gold. And that has been understood as a psychoanalytic process, where it is that those things have felt like a burden, that have felt like they weighed us down, to see them differently, to transform them in some way so that they become wealth to us, a source of wealth. Well, that is part of the potential here. And so if I'm being very straightforward with you, this energy may be uncomfortable because of the surprise element, because of the element there where it feels like information, understanding, epiphany comes out of nowhere. This is a catalyst moment, a catharsis, if you will, that comes out of the blue, but can catapult you in a brand new direction that feels more honest, more authentic, more real, that feels more filled with a recognition of your own riches within. Now, there is the metaphorical understanding of alchemy, but there is also the literal understanding of riches as well. This part of the sky does connect to your relationship to financial institutions. So whether that's grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments, tax returns, or benefits that you qualify for, all of that is covered here. And it may be at this time that it feels as if the information or insight comes by surprise or comes out of nowhere, but that you have to address it or handle it. Yes, it can happen. Uh, it might be something as simple as a missed payment somewhere. It may involve needing to ensure uh, that you have your documentation down. The thing to remember here is that when we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. You may need to show up for some of the lessons that the uh, financial matter is ultimately going to help facilitate within you. But the key is, and I know that this is easier said than done, the key is to ease some of the energy off of the more mundane, the more practical of what is transpiring and to focus instead on the spiritual lesson. Remember, if this energy is manifesting for you financially, the money you need is there. It is about you taking the steps that is being asked of you to take so that the money can show up and come together for you. As we navigate later into the month, it will be right around the 19th that we will have this month's new moon. Now this new moon is a dramatically different energy than the energy that took place earlier this month. This new moon is happening close in the sky with Mercury and speaking in supreme harmony with Mars. Mars, of course, is moving through the very top of your sky and is in shadow at this point. Now you do wanna be mindful because Mars is making key connections throughout the month. And this is a part of the sky for you that has to do with career and life purpose. Chances are you'll be very hard at work and pouring a whole lot of energy 
in this particular direction. But there are moments when things can feel like they come together, like this new moon. Now, this new moon is also a financial part of the sky, but it represents money you earn and things like your salary. It also suggests money that you may spend as well. Given how beautifully uh, the alignments are playing out here, it does suggest that there are going to be new opportunities for you in the context of creating prosperity for yourself. They may very well be in alignment with some sense of life purpose or some career or promotion. And it looks like at this time, the conversations that are happening for you help you to feel more in alignment with prosperity in your life. And so again, the energy at the beginning of the month, I know it's easy to get lost in it. For some out there, for that small percentage out there, if that energy does show up financially, I know it's easy to get lost in the stress. But again, I cannot stress it enough navigate those first days don't get lost in the externals but rather know that this is about you taking action we get you to this new moon and this is an energy of prosperity and empowerment and success in fact it is success and achievement that ultimately lends itself to greater prosperity in your life now before i move on to matters of love let me just mention venus first outside of love for you it is going to be august 8th that venus will enter your sign and be there right into september and venus in your sign that tends to happen about once a year and this is on the surface a golden period okay on the one hand, it is one of feeling as if you're able to move through life that much easier. It is an energy of confidence, an energy of prosperity, of knowing that you're worthy to have prosperity. But it is also an energy of beauty, of course. And so where it is that you are hoping to experiment, uh, new hair color, new hairstyle, new wardrobe, uh, where it is that perhaps you were thinking about tattoos or cosmetic procedures, Venus in your sign sets up a very lovely time to have results that you really like. You do wanna be a little bit cautious, especially as we navigate later in the month, because that is when the beginning of key oppositions are gonna to start to play out, and there we'll start to have some mixed results, but at least towards the middle of the month, you've got beautiful energy there to enjoy yourself and to celebrate your unique beauty. But of course, this is Venus, goddess of love. Let's talk about this in the context of love. If you are open to meeting someone new, Venus in your sign is one of the best indications of connecting with someone very organically. Venus represents a magnet, and so there's not a whole lot you need to do. Just be yourself, live your life, and you may find opportunities in love and options in love are available to you. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, Look, in the beginning of the month, we do have Venus still moving through the sign just before yours. That is a part of the sky that has to do with karmic closure. So if you find that things don't work out in the first part of the month with this person, that's okay, because you'll be entering a great time to connect with someone new. However, if things are working out with this person, once Venus enters your sign, it's going to encourage you and allow you to feel that much more loved right where you are to enjoy this person's company that much more. And for those of you who are in an established bond, having Venus in your sign is going to feel like a brand new chapter in the context of love and within your established bond. It can make it feel like your partner is that much sweeter and the relationship feels that much smoother as well. So make sure that you're doing whatever it is that helps the two of you to feel more connected on a heart level. This really is very beautiful energy to enjoy. What I love about this month for you, well look, there's so much here, but I am going to say I love that Venus is entering your sign. That is a very big deal. Venus entering your sign is lovely, it is hopeful, it is encouraging, and it says that something within you is going to feel like all is right in your world. And by the time we get you to that new moon and that energy of prosperity, that energy of being connected to healthy self-esteem and healthy self-worth, it certainly will. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. 
sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.